Running online workshops can be a real challenge, so we've collected some best practices to help your next workshop in Miro be an outstanding success. As a first step, open visual notes in your workshop's board and write an outline including the workshop's purpose and schedule, as well as some materials on how to use Miro, such as the Getting Started with Miro course. We recommend that you pin notes open, as well as send a direct link to your participants in advance of the workshop. On the same board, prepare an icebreaker activity that everyone can complete beforehand. Not only does this create a discussion point for the start of the workshop, but it also gives participants a chance to get to know Miro. For the workshop itself, you'll need to set up the board in advance using frames and other visuals to create a clear structure. In the example shown here, there are some key elements we recommend you include in your own board. A large start here, titles that can be easily read when zoomed out, overview slides that include goals, schedule, and workshop guidelines, and subsections for each activity. Be sure to lock down all the appropriate objects of your board using the context menu or command control L. For each activity, give participants their own workspace and sticky note color. Instructions displayed nearby can keep everyone on track if they forget their next step. Once everyone is finished, the individual workspaces can be combined to create an effective group discussion in a larger frame just below. There are many possible ways to facilitate the group discussion. Clustering is easy to understand and is a great place to start. You can have some large sticky notes off to the side to serve as cluster titles as patterns emerge. Voting is another good option. For anonymous voting, use our built-in voting plugin, which you may need to install through the marketplace. Dot voting is also a great alternative, especially when collaborating around visual designs or drawings. Our last example of a group activity is a mapping exercise. Using the line tool, you can create different scales and matrices to have your participants map their ideas and contributions. Check out our accompanying resources to get more information on running workshops successfully in Miro, and be sure to save everything as a custom template so you can reuse it and iterate.